and welcome to this Leeds United match review of Leeds beating Aston Villa 3-2 at Villa Park in what was an incredible game. An incredible match, very entertaining, both teams playing good offensive football, both teams looking a bit shaky at the fence at times. Um, but yeah, an incredible win for Leeds, top at Christmas and it was just remarkable after going 2-0 behind after 20 minutes to come out and win that game. One of the hardest games I'll play all season, away away to what, in my opinion, is one of the you know strongest squads in the division on paper. Uh, and it been in really good form. And I thought we deserved it, 100%. And, you know, I, I hope to think Villa fans would agree with me that we deserved it. Because I, although I would have taken a 2 old draw, I think Ruth's goal, you know, we had the more of the opportunities. The decisions didn't go away. We could have had two penalties. But I'll get into that. But let's start off with... Well, let's start off with the lineup. There was a few changes. This is something that's interesting is that that wasn't even a full-strength Leeds team. That had Leif Davis in. Leif Davis making his, his, his championship debut. Now, I think Douglas was out uh, because of illness. He did travel to the game. I think he realised he wasn't able to play um, in the pre-match warm-up. He just, he, I don't know how severe his illness is. I'd imagine if it was really severe, he wouldn't have travelled. So I'm hoping he can play in the Blackburn game. But yeah, we had to start an 18-year-old at left-back who has never played a game before. So uh, that's, you know, and we won. That's it's incredible. Uh, Jansen and Phillips started centre-half. Luke Aiden came back. Boy, how we have missed him. He was incredible today. And uh, Harrison came in on the wing with Hernandez moving into that number 10 role. Now, the game did not start well. Uh, Tuna down inside 20 minutes. Now... I feel like 2-0 at half-time was very flattering. We had the better of the opportunities. Okay, okay. It was actually a fairly even first half. Both teams had opportunities. Villa took theirs. And to be fair, that's not down to luck. If they're more clinical than us, you know, that, that, that's what happened. Abraham, we know, is a good striker. He took his goal very well. Hurahan with a great, um, a great long-range effort. Peacock foul, I thought... I, I thought it was left helpless a bit. It's a great effort from him. He curls the ball round the defender, uses Janssen to blindside Peacock Fowl, and it's hit low and hard with a lot of pace. Even if Peacock Fowl does get a strong hand to it, they're very hard to push from the post. I know as a goalkeeper, so I would not blame Peacock Fowl for the goal. But 2 0, it didn't feel right, in my opinion. It felt like we had had chances. Uh, later on in the half, Click uh, managed to get through on goal, has a chance to curl into that far corner, and just kind of scuffs it a bit. You know, it's disappointing. Obviously, Click hasn't been on the score sheet in quite a while. But he should have done better there. But a clear penalty um, not given from a corner. Uh, we've been told in recent years that referees are going to clamp down on pushing and pulling from corners. Well, that did not happen in this game. Because Janssen is, is held completely by Hutton. Um, Alan Hutton. Ball comes over. He's not, even, he's not even looking at the ball. And he's got a hold of his shirt. And Janssen goes down. Referee with a great view doesn't give it. Which I don't understand how. But, to be honest, I thought Villa took the chances they had. I thought it was an even first half. Both sides came forward. I did think Villa looked more threatening, especially on Davis' side. They clearly exploited the fact that we had a, an experienced left-back on the pitch. But, going into half-time, I felt like Leeds were still in the game. Because we, we did have chances in that first half. I made the majority share of possession. Second half, I was surprised by Villa. I was surprised by the way they played. They came out and they attacked us. They went for that third goal. They went to try and kill the game off. And I think at the end, that really, really was their downfall. Because... Jack Clark came on at half time for Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison didn't have a very good first half. He, it was his mistake for the second goal. He gave the ball away. It didn't offer much going forward. I thought he was fairly poor. Jack Clark comes on and it's such it's such a it's such a pleasure to watch. He gets you off your seat and he scores a marvellous goal. Takes it past the Villa defenders. Okay, it's it's shocking defending my Villa. Um I'm sure their fans won't mind me saying that. Although, granted, we have to respect the fact that Villa also had a lot of defenders out in. They were playing with three right backs in defence. Um, but Clark takes a pass, a Villa player cuts in and just curls it into that far corner. It's a beautiful goal back in the game. And it was what we deserved. And then we go out, about well, less than five minutes later, corner comes in, Janssen meets it, and it's 2-1. And it was, it was crazy, because in about the space of five minutes, all of a sudden, we're, we're level after being 2-0 down. Would, have, you know, would Leeds teams have passed on that? No, Leeds teams have passed, their heads would have gone down we would have lost that 3 or 4 nil, But this Leeds team doesn't give up. And they got back into the game at 2 all. And then, from another corner, only a few minutes later, we should have had a pen another penalty. Came on roof, meets the ball at the back stick, heads it back across, and it hits the hand, arm of Glenn Whelan. And that definitely should have been a penalty. We could have had two this game. From then on, I thought Leeds still had good opportunities. But so did Villa. Both teams, it was a very, very open game. A great advert for championship football. Um... Balassi had a good opportunity when the ball fell to him with the back stick from McGinn Pass. 
and he hits it with his right for some reason. I have no idea why. But that's been a bit more composed there and drilled it low. They might have scored. Uh, Peacock thought Oz made a good save after a weird deflection from Forkshaw. It was a good reaction save. But Leeds also had chances. Uh, uh, Alioski had a shot, I think he curled wide. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, he curled towards goal and Nyland made a good save. They asked him for the keeper. It was a fairly... It felt like with the last 10 minutes to go, in the 85th minute, it felt like Villa were the more likely to score. That's what, that's what I felt. But Leeds were definitely still in the game. But then in the 93rd, 94th minute, we get a breakaway down the right-hand side. Alioski running forward. And then he... I, I don't like the fact Alioski doesn't take men on. I think it's something that we all know about Jack Clark. He's not scared to take somebody on. But Alioski cuts in onto his, um, onto his left. And he curls the ball across. It's a great ball over. Kim Roof is very intelligent. He doesn't try and challenge the header. He just drops back. He knows El Mohamedi is going to head it into that area. El Mohamedi, I know Villa fans annoyed him because it was a poor clearance. Heads it straight to Roof. First time volley. Bounces into the side netting of the goal. And we win the game. And I generally believe we deserved it. I believe we played great football. And I believe there's no other team in the division who could have coped with having a debutant player at left back. Having the left hand side at one point was an 18 year old. Was two 18 year olds. There's no other team in the division that plays like that. And it's making me believe that Leeds United is, could be Leeds United's season. I don't want really to get ahead of myself. I know there's a long way to go. I know Bielsa's system is, is draining. They still need to invest in January. But it was a fabulous win. And that might be the best win of the season so far. If you're a Villa fan, I'd love to hear your opinions on the game. Because obviously, I see it through a Leeds fan's eyes. Maybe you thought you deserved to win. I don't know. To me, it was clear Leeds deserved to win, but... Who knows? Who was your man of the match? Please comment down, uh, comment down below. So like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. But otherwise, I'll see you next time.